Welcome. My name's Susan. Welcome to Dancing Water. We're here to do a Dancing Water daily practice, and today we're doing some nourishing movement. And we are going to focus our attention on what do you need? My question for you today is what do you need? One of my favorite bloggers and writers and thinkers is Leo Babauta. And he um, gave a talk not long ago about how can we serve people the best. And one of the things he talked about was, was identifying what the people in our lives need. And he talked about having a conversation with his son. And this was during the coronavirus um, crisis. And he asked his son, what do you need? And his son said, I need some reassurance from you. And they had a conversation and a hug. And, and, um, and Leo talked about how this is the way he constructs or, or, or formulates his teaching is to identify the need. And I, I thought about this for quite a while. And, um, and this, is, he's, this is like a guy who's got millions of followers and everything. But he wrote this, this email. And I wrote back to him. And I said, Leo, I know you've got a million things going on and a million people who are asking you questions. But I'm really curious about how do I identify what people need? Often, I find that either when I ask people what they need, they don't know, or when I look for what I, what I need, I'm not really sure. And he actually wrote me back, and pretty fast, and he, which was great because I kind of needed to know. <laughs> and he wrote and said that this is a practice of, first of all, identifying what we need in a given situation, and then um, asking, and if people don't know what they need, to extrapolate or to experiment with offering something that I might need in a similar situation. So it's, um, it's a little bit of a, of a play. And when he wrote this to me, I thought, this is exactly what we do in our practice. In this mindful movement, this nourishing movement that we do together, what we're constantly doing is checking in with the body, checking in with ourselves, seeing what is it that I need right now. And that might be, that is always changing. And even if you've been practicing with me for decades, or this is the first class you've ever taken with me. This is an experiment in, in checking out, listening to the body, and then doing something and seeing, is that what I need? And then changing it if it's not, and expanding it if it is. So, so my question is, as always, can you base your practice not on what, what I'm doing, but offering your body what it needs and continually listen and offer what you need. All right? So let's do this together. So as our physical anchor today, we're going to focus on ankles and wrists and the solar plexus. We're focusing on the ankles and wrists because these are joints that are both strong and highly mobile. They are irregular bones that roll together and allow a wide variety of movement, but also quite a lot of strength. And then the solar plexus. The solar plexus is right underneath your rib cage. This is where we get that gut feeling, where that, that, that impulse to do something or not do something. All right? So find a spot, um, someplace in your space. This is a practice that I really invite to be done in bare feet, in that this allows movement in the feet and ankles. But really, you want to feel comfortable. So just lifting and placing. 
your ankles, and then feeling your wrists, circling your wrists, then opening up your stance, ankles and wrists, inhale, and exhale, so palms away, around your solar plexus here. And if you're not sure where it is, you can feel the space right where your ribs come together. And use this wrapping movement yeah, to almost feel your ribs soften around the center point. Relaxing the back of your neck, letting your eyes look down. Good, and then inhale and exhale, alternating your heels, ankle joints. solar plexus, setting the intention of listening to what your body needs. Taking your left foot and just stepping easy front and back. Yeah. So feeling your toes pull up so your heel touches down. Four, three, two, Start to feel this pattern front and back two times. Then lots of ankle work, taking it to the right now. And let's come underneath right here. And walk here. Ankles and wrists. Come underneath. Take it to the side. 
solar plexus. That's it, that's it. A simple movement. But there's lots going on. in, walking your feet in, and feeling the ball of your left foot crossing behind. So feeling this sensation.
notice your breath. with the floor and opening the fronts of your ankles. Moving over to the right side of your space. One, two, one, two, three. Listen to the sound. That's it. Pushing something. your ankle joints, really feeling the fronts of your ankles opening wide, notice the connection between your ankle joints and your thigh bones, uh-huh, take it here, one, two, moving in the space, so it doesn't matter where, Covering a little more space. That's it. Hands strong. All right. Let's play with strength and mobility. We go like this. We push, push, and shake. Push, push, and shake. Notice the difference. Push. How strong? How loose? Now every time you move, feel your solar plexus, ribs. All right, come center. Now come underneath. Under and under. Now the leg goes over, over. Uh-huh. Go under like you're sliding your body under a fence. Under. And over. Uh-huh. Doesn't have to be low. You can use your hands to support. You can just let your foot slide across. You can take it lower. Over. Uh -huh, one more. And over. Get ready. Little steps right here. All right. Loose, loose, and push. Loose, loose, and push. It's a feel. Sort of plucky sound. Take it anywhere in the space. Yeah, it's really not about what movement you're doing. Just how are you bringing your awareness, your attention to it? Letting sensation guide you. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. 
so open up your stance. Solar plexus. Soften your knees. Relax your ankles. So it may seem like the base of the body isn't doing anything here, but in fact there's a lot of responsiveness in the foundation that moves the solar plexus. So you're moving from here. Yeah, now step behind and pull it back two times. Uh-huh. Sliding the solar plexus back. So curl in. That's it. Again, let's put it together, you guys. Hands and two nudge. Just one time, pull back and nudge the space. And soften your knees, soften and pull back. You got this. Come on.
Yeah, it's about listening to what your body is responding to. So you may try something on and may just be like, nah, not work at all. And that's fine. That's part of the practice. Being willing to have that sense of creative, compassionate curiosity. Yeah, which may mean that some things just don't work. Here it is. Now in the middle. One, two, 
just feeling your feet and give, give a little bounce through your ankle joints, relaxing your solar plexus down. Three times, down, up, down, up, three times, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Big exhales here. See if you can spread your toes. Now don't forget, you can always on the floor, you can do a smaller kick, or bigger, yeah, now take it, one, two, one, two, three, good, grips, all right, so fingers, curl in,
to the floor as you're ready. You may take yourself into a chair. Depending on where you are, you might be on a couch or on a bed. You can do that too. I really recommend, though, getting off of your feet and begin to sense your body in different kinds of arrangements. And I invite you here to feel your breath. Inhale and exhale. Now, as you breathe, inhale, pause, and feel. Exhale, move in some way. Inhale, pause. Exhale, what do I need? Inhale, and exhale. Pause and breathe, and then move. Pause, listen, and respond. Inhale, listen, and respond. Inhale, listen, and respond. speed. This is not about doing this in my cadence. you've done before with your body that you have this notion maybe needed right now. And I definitely recommend experimenting with that and see, is that what I needed? Maybe yes, maybe no. Pausing, asking what is needed, and then respond. I think of my teacher Leo having this conversation with his son in this stressful. I could imagine a scenario in which his son says, I need reassurance, I need a hug. And his 
his dad may very clearly give him what he's asking for. But he still feels like he has some need. Right? And so he might ask, he might go back to his dad and, and say, you know what? What I actually some structure, a plan, right? That could be something. So inviting in this constant flow of asking and responding without attachment to right or wrong, but rather engagement Responding to that without forcing the body, without pushing into stillness. Notice whatever position, whatever shape your body is in right now. And ask yourself, what do I need right now? Maybe a shift in that shape. Noticing how that lands. We 
is a shift in your mind, your heart. Pausing and asking again, what is it that I need right now in order to close my practice today? What is it that my body needs? And then respond. poem to close by Hafiz, a great need. Out of a great need we are all holding hands and climbing. Not loving is a letting go. Listen, the terrain around here is far too dangerous for that. Out of a great need, we are all holding hands and climbing. Not loving is a letting go. Listen, the terrain around here is far too dangerous for that. I'm taking a breath. Just let your body choose a stretch and yawn, some kind of movement to bring you to standing, this symbolic choice that we make to indicate that we are ready to transition into whatever is next in the rest of this day. Taking your hands together, feeling your wrists long, feeling your ankles pliable, and your solar plexus open. Inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. One more time. And now take your thumbs to your heart center. Looking down at your fingertips, lowering your gaze, dedicating the merit of this practice. May the merit of this practice serve to nourish the seeds and roots of happiness. May the merit of this practice serve to dissolve the seeds and roots of suffering. And out into the rest of this day, taking our practice with us, taking each other with us, remembering that you are not alone, we are all holding hands and climbing. Not loving is a letting go. So holding on to that. Sweet friends, thank you for being with me. Thank you for practicing together. My name is Susan. From here at Dancing Water, I invite you please to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please comment. You guys have been awesome lately. Comments have been great. It's been so cool to see the interaction, see how people are using this, these practices. And um, you can also click notifications. You can also go to my blog, which is focuspocusnow.com. Lots of resources there. And you'll find the poem I just read and all kinds of links to helpful material, including material from the Zen Habits um, Leo's site. So, um, so go there, subscribe there. And if you can, I would be so grateful for any financial contributions. Your, with your help, I will be able to continue to create these practices for you and anyone who needs them, whatever their resources. Thank you, friends. Have a great day. Mwah! Love you guys.